Do you know there is a large power station under the sea in China? Experts from the Europe, Russia, South Korea, and other countries have visited the power station successively. They feel incredible, how exactly is this done? As you know, a power station is a factory that converts all kinds of natural energy into electricity. According to the different natural energy used, it is divided into thermal power plants, hydropower plants, nuclear power plants, wind power plants, solar power plants, etc. But have you heard of subsea power stations? How does a power station built under the sea work? Hi, everyone. Welcome to Hot Topics Time. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's continue the topic we are talking about. Well, this submarine power station is the Jiangxia Tidal Test Power Station located in Wenling, Zhejiang Province, which is the largest tidal power station in China. It started construction in 1973, and the first unit generated electricity in 1980, which was listed in China's 20th century memorabilia. There are a total of five two-way bulb tubular tidal generating units with a total installed capacity of 4,100 kilowatts and an annual power generation of about 7.3 million kilowatt hours. Jiangxia Tidal Test Power Station is a test base for the development and utilization of tidal energy developed, manufactured, and installed by China. Its power station construction practice has proved that it has the advantages of no immigration, no energy consumption, no flood threat, no impact on ecological balance and environmental pollution. The maximum tidal drop of the power station is more than 8 meters, and the natural conditions are superior. After the completion of the power station, in addition to obtaining a large amount of electricity, there will be comprehensive utilization benefits such as aquaculture, transportation, and tourism. So, what is tidal energy? With the depletion of coal and oil resources, coupled with its pollution to the environment, people are constantly exploring new energy sources. Wind energy, nuclear energy, geothermal energy, and hydropower are constantly emerging in new forms of power generation. However, there is also a clean energy called tidal energy. Its power station is to be built on the seabed, how does it generate electricity? Compared with ordinary hydroelectric power, what are the advantages? Before answering the above questions, let's first understand what tide is. Gravity exists in everything in the world, and the seawater is no exception. Under the gravitational action of the two celestial bodies, the sun and the moon, the seawater will experience a force called tidal force. The celestial body keeps rotating, and the tidal force changes accordingly, and the seawater will rise or fall under the action of the force, which is what we commonly call ebb and flow. The mass of seawater is so great that its movement naturally contains huge kinetic energy, which is tidal energy. It is not only inexhaustible, but also clean and environmentally friendly, which is naturally favored by people. It is similar to the principle of ordinary hydropower, but the form is different. Ordinary hydropower uses the gravitational potential energy hidden by the water level difference of the river, while tidal power relies on gravity. So, how exactly do submarine power stations make use of the tides? Tidal power generation is to use the drop formed by the tide to drive the hydraulic turbine, and then the hydraulic turbine drives the generator to generate electricity. When the water flows from the ocean to the reservoir, reverse power generation is performed, and when the water flows from the reservoir to the ocean, the forward power generation is performed, and the power generation efficiency of the unit is higher. Zhujiang Jiangxia Tidal Power Station is a pioneer in the development and utilization of ocean energy in China, and it is also the first bidirectional power station for tidal energy in China. Tidal energy is more stable than wind energy because the tide is a fairly regular periodic movement, compared with solar energy, tidal energy has less impact on the environment. Solar power generation uses photovoltaic panels, 
and the process of producing photovoltaic panels will pollute the environment. To use tidal energy, the first is to build a reservoir in the port, and according to the number of reservoirs, submarine power plants can be divided into two categories. The first category is the single reservoir power station, which has only one reservoir. At high tide, due to the height difference between the inside and outside of the reservoir, seawater will flow into the reservoir from the outside, thereby driving the generator at the bottom to generate electricity. When the tide ebbs, the water level in the reservoir is higher than the seawater again, the seawater inside begins to flow out again, and the generator can continue to generate electricity. However, this kind of reservoir has a disadvantage, that is, it cannot generate electricity in normal times. So the double reservoir power station appeared. It has two reservoirs, separated by a dam, one is responsible for feeding water at high tide, and the other is responsible for releasing water at low tide. In this way, the water level difference between the two reservoirs can always be maintained, enabling 24-hour power generation. Some people may have questions, Will such a submarine power station affect the marine ecology? Actually not. The tidal power station has no noise during operation, and there is a protective layer outside, which will not interfere with the normal survival of marine life. Its only disadvantage may be that since the power station is underwater, it is more troublesome to maintain later. In fact, the energy contained in the ocean is far more than tidal energy. There is another kind of ocean energy that can also be used to generate electricity, which is geothermal energy. We know that there is a large temperature difference between the ocean surface and the deep seawater, which can be as high as 20 degrees. This temperature difference can be fully utilized. Due to the temperature difference, the fluid in the device will continuously switch between gaseous and liquid, flowing back and forth between the surface and the depths of the ocean, thereby driving the turbine generator to generate electricity. WWLL, China has also achieved certain results in this field. In 2017, the 10 kilowatt ocean thermoelectric power station built by China successfully operated for 1,000 hours without failure marking China officially becoming the third country after the United States and Japan to master this power generation technology. In general, as a pioneer in China's tidal energy development and utilization test base, Jiangxia Tidal Test Power Station has witnessed many explorations of China's renewable energy development for more than 40 years. Since the power station was completed and put into production, after years of strong winds and waves, it is still running normally, with an average annual power generation of 7.2 million kilowatt hours and a cumulative power generation of more than 200 million kilowatt hours. Of course, the significance of this tidal power station is more than that. In addition to generating electricity, it has also created a profitable opportunity for local agricultural reclamation and aquaculture. Within its reservoir, the annual output value of seafood farming more than 15 million yuan. All in all, as China's energy industry gradually moves towards new energy, the power supply gap left by the thermal power system cannot be completely filled by the existing nuclear power plants, hydropower plants, or photovoltaic industry. Especially when the development of hydropower is on the verge of its limit, and the production capacity of photovoltaic industry and wind power industry cannot meet the current situation of China's energy demand, China can only guarantee its own electricity demand through large scale construction of tidal power stations. Okay, that's all for today. Hot Topics Time, time to explore the wisdom behind the news. We will see you in the next video.